So there are a lot of different opportunities for AI to be sort of incorporated into the into the clinical trials workflow. Um, the um, you know one of the main things that was discussed during our session at Astro um, was the use of AI to improve um, how we design clinical trials. Um, I think there are a few ways that that is possible. Um, the main highlight uh, from our discussion. Um, uh, with um, with James So, who's a, a prof um, on faculty at Stanford, um, Dr. Zo talked about um, some of the work that they've been doing, uh, applying AI to real world data, um, basically to expand clinical trials enrollment. So one of the major challenges that we have in clinical trials development and uh, not just development, but like really implementation and completing trials um, uh, is our challenges in, in enrolling enough patients. Uh, so, you know, many trials don't meet their accrual goals. Um, it's it often takes a long time to, uh, enroll enough patients to trials. And so the idea is to take data from, um, sort of the real world to understand what types of, um, criteria, um, uh, we can use to sort of enroll patients on trial. So one of the big problems is that, um, uh, we ha clinical trials are particularly stringent in who they allow on trial. And so trying to expand the range of patients that can be part of trials is something that can be informed with data. Um, there are a few other avenues that um, AI can Im improve trial, uh, I guess, uh, clinical trials in general. Um, uh, the first of, I guess, the, the, the sort of the next uh, thing that I can think of um, is uh, trials um, are often uh, designed in silos and um, trying to use um, data sources to tell us about what types of trials are being run and designed and active um, is another way that we can sort of use data um, to help us inform which trials um, we should be running next. So understanding which trials are being completed, what things are being compared to each other um, can be a good way to sort of inform things and AI can play a, a role in sort of parsing out, out that data. Um, and then as far as kind of um, sort of AI integration into trials, um, some of the things that my lab sort of primarily focuses on are developing technologies um, that are supposed to be supposed to be implemented on trials so that we can both assess them, but also understand um, how they how well they can uh, improve care, which is a little bit of a, I guess, a little bit related to your second question. But um, so, uh, you know, one of the one of the things that we discussed was um, one of the trials that we ran um, basically using AI to uh, risk stratify patients. So to understand uh, uh, which patients can benefit most from an interventional strategy um, and then using that um, to sort of find the right people um, to provide certain types of care to. Um, and then we have a couple of other trials sort of using different types of AI technologies um, like applied to either electronic health records records or um, wearables devices, things that we can try to use to try to um, better direct care to the more appropriate patients.